Hey, this is James. I'm going back over the KP Hybrid uh, wiring schematic for the uh, dual headlight conversion on the CVR600RR. Mine's the 2007, uh, which this doesn't exactly apply to, but um, I made it work. Um, okay, so you have both your headlights over here. You have the one that's um, always on your low beam, which is actually, if you're staring at the bike, it's on the left. Um, and then you have your high beam, which is on the right if you're staring at it. Um, so right here you have the uh, two power leads um, that always go to it, so uh, that'll just keep it on for like the running lights, um, have them both on at the same time. Um, and those both go to the 87. Um, then you have both the minuses which go to ground, um, and then the one on the left uh, goes to the 85, which is um, just the ground for the whole unit. Um, I actually wired mine together um, and into the 85, which seemed to work pretty well. Um, uh, right down here you have the power for the low beam side and the high beam side. Um, this is actually what controls the unit and lets it know if the low beams are on or the high beams are on. So, um, when you have the switch, um, to low beam, it's going to power this one and when it gets the, um, the notification that you flip the switch, it's going to get power from this one and power the high beams. So that's pretty much why it works. Um, I, I don't know too much about electronics and, that not, and whatnot, but um, I do what I can. Um, the biggest problem I ran into, which I mentioned in my other video, was um, I switched up the low beam and the high beam side. So um, when I had my normal lights on, nothing was on. And when I um, flipped the high beams on, both lights came on, so um, only the high beams worked. Um, for my bike, um, the blue wire was the positive um, through the um, old connectors. Um, for the new connectors, for the H4s, um, just go to Salvage Yard. You can pick them up out of a car for almost nothing. Um, also, I would get a couple... Um, a couple... Uh, new bulbs, well, not new bulbs, but um, just old bulbs that you can um, practice cutting and fitting on um, before you actually work on your brand new PS or whatever you're going to put in. Um, the the five pin relay, um, I went to Baxter Auto Parts. They had a kit with a um, little wiring harness for it and the actual unit, and it was it was like less than ten bucks. It was really cheap. Um, so, yeah, that's mainly how I did mine. If you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and let me know. Um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, yeah, mainly with the wiring diagram, just work on it piece by piece. Oh, um, these are the back side of the connectors. Um, the plus is um, on the right side, and the minus is on the left side. Um, what I did, if you can tell, um, is if for every wire that came out, I labeled what color it was. I just found it to be, to be the easiest. Um, the extra wiring that I was using to route wires from place to place was um, actually just out of an old um, computer power supply. I had a couple laying around that I could just cut the whole wiring thing out of. Um, and those are all 16 gauge wires, so they all work really good. Um, I soldered all the mine together, which took a really long time. It, I was working on this project for the past uh, maybe four hours, so... Um, just make sure you have some time <laughs> to devote to this. Uh, yeah, um, you can solder or cramp. I prefer soldering just because it's a little bit more durable, but it definitely takes a little bit more skill too. Okay, um, yeah, I'm out. Bye.